back to my channel, Easy Ed Tech. I'm a high school teacher from New York, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to take attendance remotely. In one way, it's using Google Forms, so you can use that in any LMS that you use, and the other is specifically for Google Classroom. So I know that that can seem like a big challenge in remote instruction, and it's really important that we know who's there every day. So let's get started. So one way to take attendance is to just use a Google Form. I just typed forms.new to take me to a brand new form and I'm going to now just fill in the fields. And notice when I just click at the top, it filled it in automatically. Now the most important thing is to ask for a name and that automatically changed to short answer and I'm going to make that required. Then I'm gonna click on the plus Okay, so those are my options for my form. I'm also gonna make that one required. You can put in whatever questions you wanna do, you wanna put. Sometimes I add a question, how are you doing today? Or something like that as a student check-in. So every day um, there's a, a student check-in. Or sometimes I put, is there anything that you wanna share with me? Especially during remote instruction, students will sometimes say, this is what I've got going on at home, or this is why I haven't been able to complete the work. So sometimes I add a question like that. And that automatically changed to a long answer response. So, and then notice I did not make that required. So now I'm gonna share this. So first let me just check my settings. And you might wanna check collect email addresses. This is a good fail safe in case you forgot to put the name. I always like to check off collect email addresses and I'm not going to check off limit to one response because I'm gonna use this form over and over again. So I'm gonna save this, I don't need to change anything here, and I'm gonna send. So I'm gonna click on the link and copy. Now I'm gonna to go to my Google Classroom and I'm gonna post this in the stream. I put in whatever information I want, and I add my form. There it is, and I can either post it now or I can schedule it for right before the start of class. So that's something that I like to do, and then I post it. And now it's right here at the top of the stream. Now you'll notice about my stream, I don't have any announcements about classwork assignments on here. That's because I turn that setting off so that my stream doesn't get cluttered. If you're interested in learning to know how to do that, I have a tutorial on how to set up your Google Classroom and I talk about it in there. So I'll put a link to that in the description box below this video. But the great thing is, when I do have other announcements that get in the way, I can just click on these three dots and move this to the top of the stream. Right now, it's already at the top, so that's not an option. But if it were lower down, you would see move to the top as an option. So if this falls further down the stream, this form, I can just move to the top to keep it at the top. You can't pin things to a Google Classroom, so I can't pin it at the top. So I'll just move it back up when I need to. And now, because this form can be filled in unlimited times, a student can fill it in as many times as they like. So let's go take a look at this from the student's point of view. Okay, so now I'm in Google Classroom as a student and I'm gonna click on this daily attendance form and this is what the students will see. That's a, a lot of times I get things like that in that field. Now I'm gonna submit and go back to the teacher view. Okay, so now I don't wanna access this here. I want to access it from my Google Drive or from Forms. So if I go to forms.google.com, that form is right here every time for me to come find it. And I can see that there's one response. So I can access the responses here, or I like to view it as a spreadsheet. So I just click on that green icon on the top right and I get a spreadsheet. And notice it's date and time stamped. So I get all the information here. So now 
if students filled this in on multiple days, it would just fill in. So I might have a week's worth of attendance, but it's all time stamped. So I can look at the attendance that way. Another option that I always have is to go in and make a copy of this. And then I could say, change it for a different day. And then if I wanna do that, I can put, I can now post this one tomorrow and have a new form with a new spreadsheet. So if you want your attendance separated by day, just make a copy and post the new copy daily on Classroom. Take down the old one and post the new one. If you wanna use the same one, you just keep moving it to the top over and over, and there's no need to make another spreadsheet, no need to make a copy. So it depends on how you want the spreadsheet. If you want all the days in one spreadsheet, just use the same form. If you want each day to have its own spreadsheet, make a copy each day and post the new one. So now another way to do attendance would be to go to classwork, create. First of all, you could create a short assignment, a do now assignment, and when they turn it in, that's automatically your attendance. Or you can just ask a question. I'm gonna make this multiple choice. And I don't need to add anything here. So I'm just gonna ask that question. Oh, I forgot, I set up my grade category, so I need to select that and ask my question. So now I did not put a due date on this. I should put a due date. I just click edit. And this is tomorrow's attendance. So let's say it's due tomorrow at, if the period's over at 9 a.m., I want the assignment to be due at 9 a.m. If the class is say 8, 10 to 9 o'clock, then I want this to be due at 9 o'clock. So I'm gonna save this. And now let's look at this from a student's point of view. Okay, so this is the attendance form that we posted previously. There's no announcement on the stream because I've turned off the notifications for assignments. If you still have notifications for assignments, it'll show up here. And here in my classwork, I have attendance right at the top. I go in, click I'm here on time, and turn in. And let's go look at this from the teacher's point of view. I've got one turned in on time, and if I view the question, I can see who turned it in. So that's how you can take attendance in with forms and if you use Google Classroom with Google Classroom. So I really hope that you found this helpful. Taking remote attendance can be sound very challenging, but it's really not. And if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to tell all your teacher friends about it, and I'll see you soon.